हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ वी आर गोना स्टार्ट विथ वेरी वंडरफुल कॉन्सेप्ट और आई वुड से मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पार्शियल डिफ्रेंसिएशन नाउ वाई एम सेंग इट इज डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज स्टूडेंट फील्स दिस कॉन्सेप्ट डिफिकल्ट बट फ्रॉम माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट्स वेरी इजी बिकॉज द रेफरेंस ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज प्रेजेंट इन द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड सो वी आर गोना लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट द नेम ऑफ दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज इम्प्लिसिट फंक्शन सो यर वी आर गोना सी how to find out the derivative or the partial differentiation if the given function is implicit so now uh, to start this concept i will take one function so let's say if i have function of x and y and let's say if it is equal to 0 or if i have a function of x y and z and it is equal to 0 and let's say if somebody is asking me to find out the value of dy by dx then how to get that value so guys this type of questions we have done in 12th standard so let's take an example so so that you will remember this concept so in 12th standard we have seen that let's say if we have a function like y square plus xy equal to 0 and let's say if somebody is asking us to find out the value of dy by dx what we do we differentiate each term with respect to x so here if i differentiate y square with respect to x we will get 2y into dy by dx plus here we have to apply uv rule so this will give us x into dy by dx plus y into derivative of x is 1 so this is equal to 0 now to get the value of dy by dx we'll take all terms of dy by dx together and this y will go on the right hand side because it does not have dy by dx so that will become negative y and if i take this two terms together then in bracket i'll get 2y plus x into dy by dx and if i send that 2y plus x on the rhs it will go in the denominator we'll get 2y plus x so guys this is the value of dy by dx so this is how we used to do the differentiation of a function if it is given in this form now the thing is let's understand the concept of implicit function what is basically the implicit function so i'll explain you this concept with the help of tree diagram so here as it is said that f is a function of x y and z so i am just considering f so i am assuming that left hand side is f so let's say here i'll write f equal to this so f is a function of x y and z now what is the implicit function is when we have the given function with multiple variables and one of the variable is a function of other two variables so let's assume that z is also a function of x and y or in this case if i assume let's if i assume this as capital f then here i would say let's say f is a function of x and y and let's say y is again function of x so what is happening the f is function of x and y and again that y is a function of other variable so such type of function is called as implicit function so guys how to identify that this question belongs to implicit function so there are two ways to identify the first way is whenever a function is given the right hand side is equal to 0 or it is some constant so let's say here if i have 3 what we'll do is we'll take that 3 on the left hand side it will become negative 3 and we can bring right hand side as 0 so right hand side is 0 one thing and the second thing is if you observe the question so in the question they will ask you like this either dz by dx or dz by dy kind of a thing now if you think logically then f is a function of x y z then they would have asked you df by dx or df by dy or df by dz as we have seen in the normal uh, any function where we find the derivative so in that what happens there is one dependent variable there is one independent variable and we get this term where here we get the dependent variable and we differentiate that or we differentiate that given a variable with respect to some independent variable so what we assume is that we should get df by dx df by dy or df by dz but in question you will get dz by dx now what you have to observe is 
in that question they will give you one function of a, of x y and z and if they are asking dz by dx then it clearly denotes that z is dependent on x because if z is dependent on x then only you will get the value of dz by dx or else you will not get the value you will get zero next if z is a function of y then only you will get the value of dz by dy else you will get the derivative of z with respect to y as zero it means z has to be a function of x and y so this is how we have to identify let's say if uh, instead of this they are asking you find dy by dz so you have to be sure that y is a function of z so this is how you have to identify if it is implicit function or not so there are two ways to solve so one way i have shown you that we have to differentiate each term okay and while differentiating you have to keep in mind the term which is asked so let's say if this question is coming that is dz by dx so what i'll do is i will differentiate each and every term with respect to x but whenever z comes that time i will not treat z as a constant but i'll treat that z as a function of x and y so i will differentiate that z with respect to x and after that we'll take all terms of dz by dx together and remaining terms on the right hand side we'll get the answer so the same method which i've explained you uh, by which you can get the answer this is one method the second method is here we can derive a formula for implicit function with the help of partial differentiation so i'll show you that method also so now i'm going to derive a formula for this implicit function where f is a function of x and y and y is a function of x now guys if f is equal to 0 then we all know that df is also equal to 0 so let's say if i want to find out now here you can see that f is a dependent variable and this x is an independent variable so if i want to find out the value of df by dx so how to find it out so the thing is we'll apply the chain rule so the first part is from f to x and then from f to y y to x so for this part if i find out uh, or if i apply the chain rule then by partial differential i'll get del f by del x so why i'm taking this as a partial differentiation because if i differentiate f with respect to x i can treat y as a constant next if i apply the chain rule on this part here i'll get plus del f by del y into del y by del x and guys this is equal to zero now why zero because it is given that f is zero so if function of x and y is zero its derivative is also zero now let's move ahead so can we call this so uh, guys here this is capital f because we have assumed that function as f so can we call this as fx so this suffix x denotes that we are differentiating f with respect to x next and that too partially this the value of dy by dx now guys here we have written del f by del y i'll explain one second because when i'll differentiate f with respect to y we can treat x as constant but when i'll differentiate y with respect to x there is no other variable present that is why we will get a complete differentiation so here we should write dy by dx so again del f by del y we can call it as fy and here we have dy by dx which is equal to zero now if i want to find out i'll say dy by dx is equal to so this f of x will go on the right hand side will become negative f of x and this will go in the denominator so that will become f of y so guys this is the formula to find out the value of dy by dx so here what we have considered we have considered y as a function of x now there might be a another condition where we'll say f is a function of x and y and x is a function of y that is possible so in that case we'll get a question let's say if i want to find out df by dy how we'll find it out so here i'll write down for you so df by dy is given by so again i'll apply the chain rule for first part we'll get del f by del y plus for second part we'll get del f by del x into dx by dy equal to zero because f is zero so therefore here we'll get fy here we'll get fx and here we have dx by dy equal to zero it means guys if i find dx by dy 
here f of y will go on, go on the right hand side that will be negative f of y upon f of x so here we got two formula one is for dy by dx one is for dx by dy so guys this is the standard formula direct formula which you can apply to get the answer of dy by dx or dx by dy whenever given function is implicit and remember one more thing that this f of x fx and fy are the partial differentiations of f with respect to x and y respectively so if i want to find out let's say the answer of this question okay so how i'll do that by using the formula method so you can remember these two formulae with one hint that whenever you want to find out dy by dx you can observe that in the numerator we have x term in the denominator we have y term so i can say that this x goes in numerator and this y is coming in denominator similarly if i'm finding dx by dy y is going in numerator and x is coming in denominator so you have to remember that the numerator if we are finding dy by dx whatever is the variable in the numerator will come in the denominator and the variable in the denominator will go in the numerator so this is how we'll find dy by dx and dx by dy and also one more thing we have a negative sign with that so guys now we have two choices whenever we get a question we can either solve it by differentiation with term by term or we may use the direct formula so here to understand it very well what i'll do is i'll take one simple example for you so we have already seen the example of y square plus xy when i started this video so there we got the value of dy by dx here i'll write as negative y upon 2y plus x so this was the answer now this answer we got by differentiating each term with respect to x now i'll find out the value of dy by dx by using this formula method so according to formula dy by dx is negative fx fy where f is that function of x and y so i'll assume this as capital f now i will differentiate this with respect to x and with respect to y to get the value of fx and fy so fx and fy equal to so guys i told you already that this is partial differentiation of f with respect to x so let's start so if i'm partial differentiating this f with respect to x y will be treated as constant this is zero here i'll get answer as y similarly if i differentiate with respect to y here i'll get 2y plus here i'll get x now guys let's use the formula so the formula is dy by dx is equal to now how i'm remembering it the sign is negative x will go in the numerator so here we'll get fx y will come in the denominator it is fy now let's put the value this is negative value of f of x or fx not f of x y upon 2y plus x so as you can observe that you are getting the same answer so here this method you had used in the 12th standard and this is what the method that we have just learned so guys what i feel is if you use the formula then you can get answer in uh, like minimum steps or let's say if your function is more complex then instead of differentiating each and every term if you use this partial differentiation then getting the answer is a easier task now same thing is applicable for the uh, function which is a function of x y and z and let's say again a z is a function of x and y so in that guys whenever we find out the value of let's say dz by dx here or let's say if we find out the value of dz by dy then then this x goes in numerator as i told you so here we will get fx and here we'll get fz because z will come in the denominator and we'll get the negative sign similarly here we'll get negative fy and here fz so guys these are the formula we will use if the given function is implicit and it's a function of x y and z and one variable is the function of other two variables so uh, i think i've explained you all the things which are required to understand the implicit function now in the next video we are going to learn few numericals which are based on implicit function so guys keep watching the videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends because they can also understand this the concept of implicit function very well and they can also attempt the questions based on implicit function in the exam
so don't forget to subscribe and press on the bell icon because then only you will get updates about my all lectures thank you very much